Got a lot of fun things going on. Okay, hold on. My daughter needs water. I'm making a coffee. Okay, let me just. Today is like good morning bitches type of day, All right? Or possibly this. Today's a 10 ounce type of day. I use the core, or core power vanilla protein shakes and I just use it as creamer. So why is it a 10 ounce day? About to go work out. I'm not a morning workout person. Yeah, I'm gonna drink this coffee. I'm gonna make my little breakfast. I'm about to show you. And then it's campaign day. We have a new campaign. I'll bring you along later. Ah, now did you drink your coffee this morning? Okay, I had a cheese ball moment. That's what I call it whenever I'm being like super romantic and sweet. So I saw an ad, I think it was on TikTok. So freaking cool where you can get a love song made. Have you ever heard of that? No. Yeah, me neither. So I saw a TikTok, I was like, well, hell yeah, I wanna, try, I wanna try it out. Okay, Song Finch. I told him country. You can also say like if you want rap, if you want country, if you want R&B, like what, what type of vibe you what? want. Although baby at the store, things were a little unexpected. Five years since the day. Five years. It's really good. Listen to the part where he's like, do you want to include anything specific? I was like, well yeah, Nala, and we love the Cayman Islands. Love taking Nala on walks. <laughs> And cooking anything together or going to the Cayman Islands. There ain't a place that's better. It's so cute, right? Movies. Okay, make a morning shake. One of my goals is to have these more often because it forces me to get some more micronutrients in. Because I'm just not like a vegetable-y person. You know? One of my favorite flavors is the coconut pineapple. Flavor from 1UP. Delicious. It tastes like a pina colada without the rum. Kind of disappointing, but still good. What I like to do in my protein shake is, I'm only gonna put one scoop of protein. You really don't need more than that. Boom. Got a Cavani lime, so it's kind of like, put the lime in the coconut. Vegetables. I'm also gonna include an avocado, because I can. <laughs> Double fisting? <laughs> it's gross. Do it, I dare you. Cold and hot at the same time, that was not a good idea. Christian wants six servings of egg beaters. So what I do is I do six times one serving is 46. That's equal to 276. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this. And this is 945 grams. So I do 945 minus 276. 669 is what was left over. So I'm just gonna keep pouring till it's. The Gordon of the Rams also taught me a trick. You, you don't wanna stop like moving the eggs, whether it's egg whites, right, real eggs, whatever. As you're cooking, you wanna keep like spinning it, moving them around, adding some butter. Because if you just let them sit there and they cook, and you like flip them over, it's just, we don't want flat eggs, we want nice and fluffy. That's what's like, you gotta keep like moving it around. Good morning, good morning. What's up, vlog? <laughs> um, I made your eggs. Do you want anything else with it or? Ew, you shake your face. <laughs> Andy, do you like them scruffy or with no hair on his face? Ugly child. You don't like it, do you? 
I mean, I, I like it, but like, <laughs> I, I like it better with the scruff. It looks like manly and like rather. She tells, she's, a, she's a, never, never said it. It's just, oh, you look better bulky. I like you thick. I don't like you with no facial. Like, eh. I like you both ways, babe. <laughs> My favorite thing is like 200 pounds, got scruff. I'm like, mm. I'm gonna run upstairs, grab my gym bag, we're gonna go to the garage, work out my home gym, let's go. First movement I'm gonna do will be squat. Now I'm gonna start with 20 reps on the barbell, just barbell, and then I'm going to increase the weight and then move on, on to 15 reps, increase the weight, move on to 10 reps, increase the weight, move on to five reps, and then I'm gonna go all the way back. This is a great way to Get your body moving. Some people go right into doing, you know, five sets of five. Craziness. It's a little bit early for me still. I'm not the strongest in the morning, which is why I'm gonna be doing um, a little bit higher rep before getting into heavier. Second movement is gonna be hip thrusts. I did purchase this machine on Amazon. Thought it was pretty cool. It's really easy to store too. So actually this flips downwards, this flips down so you can store it like under your bed or in a closet, everything like that. Super nice. What's cool is it comes with three different bands. So I will admit it's not crazy, crazy heavy, but I feel like when you use all three bands, it's pretty intense. You know, if I want to go like really heavy, I'll use all the bands and then maybe use like a kettlebell or a dumbbell like right on my lap. All three bands, we're gonna do three sets of eight to 10 reps. See how we do. Also, because it's a cute little platform, you can also use a barbell on top of this. Honestly, I mainly got it because of the, the platform and then this. The only thing is it kind of like moves around a little bit. That's like my only thing. Once your feet are on the platform, it's not too bad. So, so we're just gonna. Whenever you're doing the movement, you really want to squeeze at the top. So it's one and two and just because it's bands, it's not as heavy. So you want to make sure that you really feel those reps. Woo. So I end up doing four sets of eight to 10 reps on the booty squat because honestly the first set, you know, I was like, ah, oh, I can do like 12 to 15, but literally as you hold, hold, it's kind of like a one and a half rep. As you hold it at the top for a second, man, it burns. So I ended up doing four sets instead of three. And that fourth set, I could barely do eight. Uh, uh. I'm gonna take it back a little bit. I'm gonna do three sets of Romanian deadlifts, hardy else, and we're gonna do like eight to 10 reps. I'm using Versa Grips. There's a lot of different brands on Amazon that you can get. Any type of grip is usually very helpful, especially whenever you're trying to build muscles, butt, and hamstring. These have been a lifesaver because sometimes my grip gives out. My legs and butt can handle a lot of weight, but my grip is like, so these are really helpful because then I can go up and weight, and I feel very comfortable and confident. I'm not gonna drop the weights. All right guys, so I've done three movements. I was gonna do a four. So I think as like a finisher, I'm gonna take Nala on a little walk, a little jog. And that's how I'm gonna finish my workout because it's really hot. I want a little ham on squats, those ladders. Mess me up. Before I give you guys a tour of the home gym, I want to show you guys my outfit. Super cute. This is our rainwater color from Buff Bunny Collection. These are the siren shorts. We have like a tri seam dupe contour, a little overlap in the front. And then this is our Synergy Zemo Sports Bra. So it has like a cute little ombre look. You can wear it with like a navy pair of leggings or black rainwater, rainwater. Or you can shop Buff Bunny Collection website right here. Let's uh, Let's check out this home gym. I have a squat rack here. I got this on Amazon. Almost everything you see here is actually be from Amazon besides Christian's cardio things. I want to say like 50 bucks, like the squat rack itself. It's not like the most stable. I don't recommend insane PRs or anything like that, but to get in a, a good, decent workout, I do like it. You can also do deadlifts because you can lower this thing here. Got the plates on Amazon too. I just need to purchase the connectors. This, we already talked about, the booty sprout. Got this on Amazon. 100% definitely recommend. It's really great, easy to store, love it. Then I got a rack of dumbbells. These are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. However, after I kind of had it for here for a few weeks, I was like, I need I need heavier weight, especially if I'm doing Romanian deadlifts. I use like 40, 45, sometimes 50. I just needed more weight. So I went ahead and got these over here. So these actually go all the way up to 50, which is really nice. We also have two machines. These are Christian's babies. He definitely uses these like almost every day, especially when he's cutting. We have a Peloton treadmill and then a Stairmaster. Honestly, this is very extra. I would, I would rather just do these at the gym, but it is nice to have them in the comfort of your home. This is extra? Tell them what he's about to do. Christian also just bought, apparently like he just told me that he bought a sauna for the garage. I was like, where are you putting it? This is a badass sauna. 
Over here, I have a lot of bands. So I have ev everything from like the low, low resistance to really thick resistance. Obviously, these are these have not even been opened yet. I really don't use these like real heavy ones. I mainly do these for accessory movements, warm-ups or cool downs, something like that. These bands here are great. You know, you can do like a lot of different movements with them. Um, but if you want handles, these are actually from Alphalete, Code Knowledge. These actually have grip handles on them, which is really nice. I, we have a bunch of different pre-workouts and everything in here, so it's ready to go. That way if we come here, down here to work out, we're just not in the mood. We have options. I lately have not been taking pre-workout, which is why you don't really see mine in here. We have jugs in case we need, you know, fill up on our water bottles. We did buy a fridge, and we kind of stock it with <laughs> treats if you need like a little mid-workout snack. It's nice to have it like ready to go. It's almost like a little treat, you know? Like I wanted our home gym to be like a little cute boutique one. That way like you come here, you get your workout in, you get your little snack afterwards. I bought this, I haven't set it up yet. I don't really know where I'm gonna put it, but I'd love to put this in an area where I'm gonna do my deadlifts. So maybe if Christian sells his car one day, gets it out of the way, then I can set this up. But the sauna. Why? We live in Texas. It's literally 105 degrees outside. I'm like, go outside. Also, I forgot to mention, we did install a mirror, which is really nice, especially you know, as you're working out, you're doing some shoulders, biceps. You know, it's, it's good to see your proper form, so we did install that. Second part of the workout is taking Nala on a WAOK -okay and feed the turtles. Let's go. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to feed the turtles? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, let's go. They're waiting for me. Yeah. Solid walk, Nala. Solid walk. She needs ice water now. So we really can't take off long, crazy like jogs or walks outside when it's hot like this. Watch her and once whenever she really starts canning, we're like, okay, we gotta go back inside. So we didn't go as long as we'd like to today, but that's all right. I'm disgusting, guys. All right, I know I just showed you like the great protein shake, got a protein bar, but my guilty pleasure sometimes is a big Texas mineral. I don't know, there's something about it, it just hits differently. It's, I don't eat them all the time. Honestly, I haven't had one since we did the Most Wanted campaign. I think that was the last time I had one. That was like two months ago. Are you sure? No. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the avocado toast. I'm gonna protein bar, cinnamon roll for later, just in case. Like the worst thing is being hangry, so I always bring like snacks. I'm gonna miss you with my whole heart and soul, okay? You're probably tired of me. Any scratches? Goodbye. Take care. Bye. She's chasing after me? Nope. She went to her food. to the venue this is where we are doing our campaign video so just so you guys know it's called that 70s collection and i had reached out to casey probably a year ago and i was like hey what do you think about doing a cool dance choreo with your girls on roller skates because i haven't seen her do that and she was like heck yes this will be so sick so we have been planning this for a long time and we actually came here to practice the other day. I'm actually gonna show you some of these clips, Andy, because they're very embarrassing. Me and Paige had to go around stage shots and be like, kind of singing it to the music. At first I was afraid, doing things. And we did really great. Killed it. Ah, one more time. Nailed it. We're gonna go check on the dancers. We got a whole crew here. We got six of the dancers. We got my production team. We have a production videographer and his crew that we hired to film and edit this. Kirby, Justin, doing photos. We have uh, Brooklyn here, modeling. Shout out to Brooklyn because uh, we had two models cancel literally like 11 p.m. last night. We're like, hey Brooklyn, what are you doing tomorrow? Let's make a campaign, guys. Let's go! It's gonna be an epic campaign. What's going on? This isn't your first campaign, right? No, this is my one, two, three, fourth. Wow, fourth campaign. Yeah, we're a Buff Money Collection campaign pro. I feel like we're Season always four. throwing like new props at you. Yeah, always new props, always new <laughs> shenanigans, but it's so much fun. We are finishing up photos. We got some TikToks going on, and then we're gonna start the campaign. Paige is panicking because we only have four hours left and they haven't started the campaign video yet. 
a little, she's running around, she's a little stressed. You what? She's stressing. We have to be out of here by eight. We have to be done filming on the rink by five. It's 4.10, so. Interrupt this program to bring you a special report. I miss him. Oh, he's so precious. Why is he? He smells great. Like, oh yeah. Help me! Help me! Hey Heidi, how's your stress levels? So about 28 minutes ago, I was losing my shit. I was like, oh my gosh, we have 28 minutes to get like all these different scenes, but they were so quick. They were like, they they got them all except one. And we were able to extend it an extra hour, so we ha basically have an hour to like have fun shots. So this beginning, the girls like what you guys are filming because at first I was afraid, I was petrified, like different clips, and then and then right here it's like kind of zooming into one girl and then zooming back out. And then when she comes up, it's very, like, it's very like this. I'm ready. Cause it makes me feel good, it makes me look good. Last scene? Last scene. Last scene, best scene. This is back here, living my best life. Um, what size do you need? Look, you, I'm gonna tell you where to go, okay? Oh, blessed, sorry. That's a wrap. That's a wrap, guys. A wrap on this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, Hope you enjoyed the home gym tour, the workout, the team. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. 